What a depressing abode. To think, your ambition was to replace Grimora and inherit this. Oh, another supercharged one. Fuck, I just got it for free. Ah! I don't want Leapbot, because Leapbot's meant to die. Let's do it! Wait, what is the... Uh, what is this other one? Creature moves into the space opposing a card bearing the sigil. They are dealt one damage. Right. Okay. Okay. I gotta remember that. Let's get everything we can. Swap bot. Dealt damage, swap its power and health. Okay. Let's get another big bot. I don't remember what that is, even though I think we just saw it. Oh, right. We're trading one card for another. Uh, ooh, another double gunner. I think I'll get the shield latcher. Shield Latcher! <laughs> we are mad! Oh, mad! Okay. Did that do anything? Guys, I really wish I could remember what the fucking code was for this. I don't fucking remember. And I'm not going to look it up. There's a book there. So I can go up there. Oh. Halt, we require a commitment to pass. You must agree to grant access to the archivist. Do you agree to grant access? It is important. You must sign this contract. Oh, you cannot sign this contract. <laughs> you do not have a writing utensil. Okay, let's get one of those. Writing utensils, right. Ing. Utensils. I could kill this. Or I could let it live and then just put it my thing here and I'm going to do two damage versus that one. And it, this is not going to get a shield. Oh, but Leapbot's going to jump in the way. So we're going to kill Leapbot instead. Which is fine. Oh no, Leapbot doesn't jump to block. Okay, I thought, for some reason, I thought this is one of the ones that like jump to block and attack, but it just blocks air attacks. Okay, good. Even better. Okay, so shield dropper and attack from air. Um, Fuck! 
I forgot about that. God damn it. Fucking lonely with spot. Ah, uh, the two pronger. Be nice to put the two pronger, in, uh, the lonely whiz bot in front of the two pronger. Okay, shield latcher, that's good. We're gonna survive this. Lonely whiz bot's gonna die though. That's fine. I should have just attacked that. All right. Double gunner time. It attacks with one though, so I gotta be careful. I should put the swap bot. Here. I gotta kill that. Oh, it, yeah, I was attacking with two. Sorry. I, I, so it was hitting for two every time. I thought it was one because I'm used to the mantis. Unkillable. Well, this is over. One dollar! Ha 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 the quill! Can sign the contract. You brought a fine quill. Please sign here that you agree to give access. Thank you. Do not forget your agreement. Any items are back online. So this is like the undead area. There it is. The Uberbot you sought. These idiotic librarians worship it, as it sits here, covered in filth and grime. Ready to clean it up? No? Oh look, it's boss time! Unpacking archivist.zip. Applying personality matrices. Cleaning up some temp files. Okay, here we go. Ah, greetings! <laughs> If you had not gleaned it from the title of my zip file, I am the archivist. I e it's exactly the same voice. I eagerly await the opportunity to explore your hard drive. Files and directories are my specialty, you see. Tombstone. If a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. Well, if I want to kill the tombstones... I would want to use the sniper or the pincer attack, but why would I want to... I guess I would want to attack those to give more lanes to attack. Dead Bite. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, select a file, place damage on the scales according to the file size. Select a file? Okay. And they attack also. So what if I... Uh... So 
Seems like a good time to bomb the fuck out of this. No? Maybe I wait till next turn. Let's see how this plays out. Let's bomb now. <laughs> oh, I should have inquired sooner. You will need to grant me access to your hard drive. Would you please acquiesce? I assure you, no harm will come of it. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Here comes your actual files. I hope no one is watching. Now, do recommend an exemplary file to me. And do take into account its size. I have some massive video files <laughs> on my hard drive. Its magnitude, its, its bulk. Okay, let's go into my, uh, my video, uh, My videos. Uh, hmm. Actually, these ones are huge. How about uh, Ratchet and Clank? 71 gigs. Ooh, 100. Oh, that's 142 megs. My word, this file, it is. I may say it is colossal. Bravo. Shouldn't that, shouldn't I win? <laughs> Again, do choose a file. Its file size will be paramount. Okay, okay. 42 gigs. I can't choose the same file, eh? Uh, you guys can see what, re what recordings I should pick inscription. This is an inscription recording. Perfect. 45 gigs. Magnificent. It is gargantuan. Another file. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart. And one that shows age. Oh, an older file? Okay. Uh. Oops. Let's go to my art file and then we can go to channel stuff and we can go to my uh, logos and then what's an older one? Oh, there we go. It's an odd. It's Christopher Odd's avatar thing. Oh, no, no, no. Luck of victory. No, those are newer ones. Oh, what should I pick? Yeah, let's do the odd thing. Where'd it go? I guess I want to pick an older file though, right? Sub badges? There's a 2017. Sword top. Shield. Santa logo. There we go. Luckle Santa. <laughs> this? Do enlighten me. What was this doing on your hard disk? Think not of it. Let us continue. Christmas is just around the corner, everybody. It's November 9th. Now, let us place that file in a card. You didn't choose a file that was too dear, did you? For if this card dies, I will delete the file from your disk! Please do not tempt me, I am completely serious. Shall we see what that looks like? Oh, <laughs> that's so cool! This, this file is most ancient indeed. It has seen things. 
a stat line of 4 out of 4 is only appropriate for an August file such as this. <laughs> it's my look I want to say that. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we got two X's. So, and I got three. Oh, I actually get it. Oh, sweet. Let's uh, play it then. That'll offset those attacks. Uh-oh. Brittle latch. I, is it actually going to delete it from my computer? That would be really, that would be really fucking funny. I think this is over anyways. I thought I had you. Oh well. You've made a few correct deck building decisions, I guess. And you are lucky. Actually, I'm luckless, motherfucker. Oh, it's the same kind of thing. The four tombs. Remember your side deck? That useless thing with all the empty vessels. It's about to get less useless. Your pick will be installed on every empty vessel card. Ooh, that would be good. Shield's also good. Oh. I'm trying to think. I think this is best. Interesting. I'm not sure that was right, but they all have sharp quills now. Cool. So I guess there's four bosses to kill. Oh, here we go again. N02. Well, hello there, card gamers. Um, looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What do you guys see this? You know what that is? You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like, it's a nice part of town, you know? And uh, she would have thrown them away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo hoo hoo hoo! Hey, hey, how? Uh, how do I go back? Stop? Okay. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Mrs. Hobbs? Hi, my name is Luke. Well, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um, listen, I was at your garage sale the other day and I... No, no, everything's fine, thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me, those... Yes. Yes, those ones. Inscription, yes. They were your daughters? Is that where he got the... Would it be 
possible for me to speak with her? GPS coordinates for the inscription game. She passed, isn't she? Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still terrible. Oh, it, it's nothing really. I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. That's a lovely name. Have we heard that name before? Sorry, what? She worked for Inscription? I mean, she worked for Game Funa? Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Okay, yeah. Um, do you think it'd be alright if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Alright, have a good dinner. Bye. What is he looking at on, the, on his screen there? It was 1002, 1016, more 1016. Article Jesus. Oh, looking up how she died. No one was killed at the facility, though tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire-related complications. Fuck. She was working late at the facility, performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fuma. So she was working on the game, probably. this 3k wait 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 mirror mirror piggy 3k i also wonder like Someone like I posted what the binary was for that we saw in the previous video and someone posted that the uh, dec the decoded message what the binary spelled out was possibly something from another game. And I think this is the developer Pony Island or whatever, which I do have that game, but I never played it. And I wonder if these are like hints to uh, stuff in those other games and it doesn't mean anything in this one, but could be wrong. Can't see what that says at all. Read something troubling there. Don't see anything. Someone is here. in the other room, so if I die before I can call 911, I use this tape as evidence. <laughs> it's creepy! 10-7, this is the next day. Oh shit, okay. Another message. Fuck. Well, I'll take a screenshot of that. I see blood. My colleague one is perhaps blood? Letterbox. Who knows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. 
Are those his eyes? No, they're D20s. That would have been fucking creepy if he was fucking putting his eyes on the scale. <laughs> He's losing his mind, though. That's the last one, right? Okay! <laughs> Back at it. Jesus. This game. So let's go back to uh, Eastern Botopia. Revolting. Yeah, sorry that you have to see this. It's the last area in Batopia that still has life in it. That stinking, squirming mass of imperfection. So this is going to be like... The beast area? Grizz. Transformer. At the beginning of your turn, a card bearing the sigil will transform to or from beast mode. I think I'd like to get this because it costs uh, five. We don't have. We already have one that uh, two that costs six. Things being played. So now we have Empty Vessel with Quills. Guess I could have just not played anything. That would have been smarter. Okay. And then it's got qu sharp quills too. Three, eh? Um, shit. I think I'm done, though. I do have this, though. That wasn't the best play. I'll just... I'll let myself go. It's not like I have to go that far to... to get back to there. I'm kind of curious to see what's this way, though. Oh no, you came at, uh, just the wrong time. This generator is about to explode, or something. You have to recharge it before that happens. It's a race against the clock. You'll see. Annoying. <laughs> okay. So when I attack, it's gonna lift this. It's gonna fill that up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need to play something with some damage. When my face says zero, you lose. Let's go with a me bot. Interesting.
I think we are running out of time. I think we could do this. Yeah. No problem. Actually. Yeah, that's the right one. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> wow, great. You recharged it before it exploded. If I could clap for you, I would. Sweet. Six oh six six dot entry. What the fuck is this? June six, two thousand six. Found this old picture of when L and I first got into Aqua Romans. Gilly Gladiator. Sick. L got a Julius C star. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be like a sad story about this girl that passed away, isn't it? We're adding a, a thing to it, right? You know what would be cool is if we could add a, th a thing to the exoskeleton where it never dies. But I think we probably want to... Make something else more powerful. Like you. What do we have? Okay. Carbrain and Sigil Paris, random cards are in your hand. Stinky, eh? I like that one. Not what I would have picked. Yeah, well, I'm kicking your ass. Doesn't change, does it? It's 2006. I didn't think the archivist would dig up this file. <laughs> 